Hi guys, uh, Jack Foley here from HeatingSolutionsIreland.com based on Limerick. Want to shoot you a video today and talk about underfloor heating efficiencies, okay? Um, how an underfloor heating system should work essentially is that there should be no time clock on the system in relation to the boiler turning on and off the heating, okay? Um, now I know you might find that hard to believe because for the last 10, 20 years in Ireland, there has always been a time clock wired to the boiler to control, you know, when the heating came on, you know. But in an underfloor heating system, the stats, the, thermos, the thermostats control everything. So basically how it works is that, just say, we'll just discuss a ground floor of a house. You have your underfloor heating manifold, you have your mixing unit, you have all your wiring centers, that are all in the same unit, maybe in a cupboard or under the stairs, and you've all your thermostats and actuators and everything wired back to this central point. Okay, now you also would have normally a local pump at that point because the boiler, the pump beside the boiler would pump to this point, and then the pump on the mixing kit on that underneath the stairs, its job would be to pump the hot water around underneath the floor okay but how it works is that you would have a switch wire okay from that point going back to your boiler okay so basically when your sitting room thermostat calls for heat and this is the beauty of underfloor heating because you have separate control in each room basically the thermostats it's like your own individual heating system in each room you know you have control of temperature in each room so just say you turn up your thermostat to 20 degrees and it might be only 18 degrees room temperature so therefore the thermostat is going to call for heat that will send the signal back to the wiring center underneath your stairs where your manifold is and at that wiring center a number of things would happen at this this whole control station a number of things would happen number one the actuator would open which is the head going out to basically it's the head controlling the loop going out to the sitting room and that opens or closes depending on the thermostat calling it in or out so basically when the thermostat calls it will open up that actuator it will also turn on the pump the local pump <coughs> at that, like basically underneath the stairs, at your station, there should be a pump, either a mixing kit or a pump on the manifold, locally, there, you know, wherever your manifold is. It'll also turn on that pump, plus it will also bring in the boiler by means of the switch wire, the wire you have going from this central unit going out to your boiler. So that's why the stats control everything. So if you turn up a stat in an individual area, it will turn on everything and consequently if you turn down a stat in an individual area where you don't want heat or if a stat is at, set at 20 degrees and finally because of the heat going in there for a few hours the finally the room reaches temperature well then the stat will turn off the actuator it will turn off the pump and it will turn off the boiler it controls everything the stats on the wall should control everything there should be no time clock on the system on off on off because the problem with time clocks is on an underfloor heating system is you know it doesn't work like a radiator system with a radiator system you can turn on off on off and you have quick instant heat underfloor heating doesn't work like that you've got nearly three four inches of slab 80 to 100 millimeters of cement on top of your pipes okay this needs to be warm always okay and if you have a time clock on an underfloor heating system, this can't be warm always, okay? Because you'll be cooling this slab and you'll be heating the slab and you'll be cooling and heating. And you know, all you'll be doing, if you have your heating off for a day or for a half a day and you turn on your heating, you will see no benefit because this has to warm up first. The concrete has to warm up first before it heats the, the room okay so with the thermostats controlling everything heat will never go out of the slab because if you thought they should be all set at maybe 20 degrees downstairs and 18 degrees upstairs 
and they will keep your house at those temperatures 24 7 and by doing that there is constantly heat in the slab you know there must be heat constantly in the slab in the cement otherwise you will just drain your oil you will be heating far too much or you know basically your oil will be drinking far too much oil if you try to work it off a time clock okay so that's the benefit of underfloor heating and that's what you need to do and once the slab is warm always and once you have set up properly with the thermostats controlling everything then your boiler will just be ticking over on and off to bring in when the thermostats brings it in because underfloor heating only works at about 30 to 40 degrees of the actual temperature of water in the pipes so it doesn't need to work hard at all once there is heat in the slab okay there must be heat in the slab constantly for you to really get you know good results in terms of performance energy wise that it does not use a lot of oil or a lot of electricity be it a heat pump or a lot of gas be it, be it a gas boiler you must do that okay you must allow the thermostats to control everything okay i hope you i supply my own underfloor heating systems if you have any questions about your own underfloor heating systems or if you're putting in if you're thinking of putting in underfloor heating for yourself give me a call my name is jack foley i'm an engineer by profession down in limerick my company is heating solutions ireland our landline is 061 603986 and my mobile number is 086 382 3062 I hope you got some value out of that and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.